Hello, welcome to Old Iron Town. This was one of the first ghost towns in Utah. Established in about 1868, abandoned in about 1875. The purpose of this town was to, of course, as the name implies, uh, mine iron. Here we have a charcoal kiln, one of the few left uh, in existence, actually. There's not a whole lot left out there, so it's always nice to find one of these. I did find a couple other ones up in Wyoming when I visited a ghost town up there, and I believe there's a couple about an hour and a half north of here in this ghost town called Frisco, which I hope to explore in the future. As we keep exploring the town, though, um, you'll see here this is kind of an old creek area, just ahead of these trees there. It's about 15 feet deep or so. One of the ways they're able to obtain water while they were here. Uh, it wasn't a very big town. In fact, the borders are pretty small as we move around here. Um, and of course, it's called Pinto Creek is where we're at here. Uh, this is an old molding house that I found as I was walking around the trails area here. And this is you can still see the foundation and also an old fireplace, which is pretty cool. Um, they don't really know who lives here or anything, but it's just a, an old house that maybe an old miner or someone lived in. Here we have just a small creek area, or what's left of an old creek that went down here to provide water to the town. So we get further down, you're going to see there's a reservoir right there where uh, water still flows today and was probably used back then as well. And also some modern houses in the area as they're building closer and closer to the town. This is an old foundry. You can see off, to, off in the distance a little bit too. There's also an old fire fireplace there used as well uh, for the... Uh, iron to make the iron or put, melt down the iron. Um, here's the old foundry again, just some other pictures of it and some footage of it here close into it. And then their old foundation there, you can just see there's nothing really left, but there was some at one time. Uh, this is called Narastra, very unique tool used to mold uh, sand. Um, there's some information here as well. There's, I guess, grind and mold sand. Very unique tool. I've never seen in a ghost town before. And just showing you guys another view of kind of the outskirts of the town here and some of the modern houses that are now being built close by and back over here to the old town again. All around. There's probably some old, old houses there at one time too. This whole area here, but now it's all been abandoned. Here's a close up of the fireplace area here. It's pretty cool. and. This is the field. I bet there was quite a few houses in here at one time. In fact, there, there used to be a school and a blacksmith and some other buildings as well that are no longer around. I bet that field housed a lot of buildings that have since been moved or demolished. Out here you can see there's the mining operation. It's huge up on the mountainside there. That's why I think that this probably goes on even today or went on for quite a while afterwards by other mining companies over the years. So you can see here, just give you guys a couple pictures. On the way out, I, I did run across... Uh, some other mining operations as well. Alright, thanks for watching.